Hello everyone. And I just froze. Let me do this again. Okay. Move this back a little bit. I bumped it a little bit more. And now let's go back to this one. One. And it's not working. Why? Well, I want to talk about this. Okay. So right here, you see the Sony A7R5. You see the Sony A7CR next to it. So same megapixels, smaller camera, uh, less features on the A7CR. It can't do 8K video. But it can do, uh, it does have one SD slot, whereas uh, the A7R5 can take multi SD or the CF Express Type A car. And you can see uh, Wanda, not in her bed, but underneath the fan to keep cool. But uh, what I have is the 60 to 600 millimeter on the A7R5 and then I have the APS-C lens the G OSS 70 to 350 okay they're like uh, the APS-C lens um, is 4.5 to 6.3 and I think the other one the Sigma yeah same thing they're both 4.5 to 6.3. Now, some people say, well, 6.3 is too dark for me at the end. Well, actually, it's a lot better than F8, F9. But I've also proven on those lenses, they're, they're still sharp. So you really can't do it at, what, sunrise or sunset, unless the sun is out. But uh, when it gets dark, yeah. You have to get better lens. But anyway, these are 60 megapixel cameras. I'm going to show you my um, little thing over here. Let's see. Okay, I want to show you the file sizes. Now, I'm going to try to expand it over here. See if I can get it larger. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to go all the way down. Now, when you look at the raw file, okay, in crop mode, and this is from the uh, A7CR, okay, in crop mode, you get like a 30 megabyte, 31 megabyte. And then the JPEG is like a 20 megabyte, okay? That's the difference. I just wanted to show you that uh, the file sizes and also I click here and then I go all the way down here watch what happens I'll do a shift I do a right click I want to open with preview it's gonna say are you sure? Well, it looks like it did it. It said 114. All right, that sounds right. So I'm going to bring it all the way over to the Sony. I'm going to take this off. You don't see the border. I'm also going to make it large. And I'm going to do this. Okay. So, this is all with the um, Sony A7CR in crop mode. Okay. So, if you look at the detail, you can see a little um, green spots on the previous paint I had on the house. You can see the cement, the rocks. This used to be on the post, and it was the only post that had this. All other posts, 
Forget about it. That's a JPEG. That's a raw file. And you can see the darker shades of, uh, well, color and also uh, the contrast is more. Whereas on uh, the JPEG, look what happened. See, it brightens there. You don't see that much detail. So here's another raw file, but a close up at 350 millimeters. So with the uh, crop 1.5, that's like a 525. Okay. The other reason why I, I uh, decided to get the uh, APS-C lens on there is to show you, can you really see the difference with less megapixels? Yeah, this is like a crop sensor camera, like the A6700, or even the A7C2 at full frame. 33 megabytes, all right, but look at that. No, I'm, I take that back, the AC, the um, A6700 I think is, is it 26? Or am I getting that mixed up with the FX30? I think the A6700 is uh, 33 megapixels. Anyway, Here's the cat, JPEG, there it is, all right, close up, that's JPEG. So you can see where I'm going, okay, raw files is to go with either the A7R5 or the A7CR, I just wanted to show you. But the other reason is look at this. This is crop sensor. So you can see it's blown out a little bit more and it's not too sharp, but look at that. And that's not a macro. I'm about 40 feet away, 30 feet away, taking these shots. That's a little blurry right there. Right, look at that crop sensor camera would be taking pictures like this maybe 33 megapixels a6700 remind you of anything but I did this with the Sony a7CR in uh, crop mode and it looks fantastic and if I get closer you can see a web at the bottom look at that That's pretty good, folks. Yes, you can see noise, but that's sharp. Okay. That's just a fantastic picture. JPEG. So when JPEG comes around, everything is lit up. Which one do you like better? I think I like that one better. So the raw files look better. They're bigger size, of course. And you can adjust a lot of things in raw files. So I'm just gonna scroll through these. You get the picture of what I'm trying to talk about. It takes fabulous pictures. Now, airplane. I want to show you how sharp it is. That's pretty good, huh, folks? And if I go a little bit like this, a little bit like that, I'm trying to figure out what that is. That might be a tracking thing. But students are learning to fly. Okay. The wheels are down, I think. Maybe not. I can't tell on this end. But you see how clear that is? So 
So JPEG. So which one is sharper? I gotta find out. And that's not too sharp, but still, if I go down the next one, I think I'm going the wrong way. Well, I know it's around here somewhere. I mean, there it is. Okay, that's a little bit too much. But you see, in some instances, that may look like a better picture compared to this one. So here's raw, JPEG. What do you think? You like the JPEG better? It's a smaller file, but I think you get a little bit more uh, sharpness in raw, but you can bring up the highlights and stuff, depending on what program you use, the raw files. There's the treehouse. So this looks much better in raw, better color, and everything's too bright. See? Raw file, JPEG. Cat. JPEG. So it looks much better in RAW. Look how sharp that is, folks. You can't beat it. So with the smaller lens, oh, that's a good shot right there. And his wheels are down. Yeah. blur but I don't see any rolling shutter to you that's a good shot even on a bad arm and see and that's totally uh, stopped so I wasn't moving well I might have been moving a little bit okay but look how sharp this is and it's going away all right, but still, I don't see any rolling shutter, and it's still a good darn picture in crop mode. So I always say, yes, you lose the megapixels, but if you want that closer reach, put it in crop mode. If I took this with the regular... Um, 60 to 600 it'd be heavier it would have to be on a tripod it won't be as sharp and it'd be 60 megapixels and then you can crop in the picture so that that's a pretty good one right there so you see raw jpeg And it's a little motion blur. That's a good shot. That's one of the better shots right there. See? Previous. I got that's JPEG. Okay. 
Yeah, it's going to be too slow. And then there's the jet. Going away, but still, I get good shots of it. And it was pretty tiny up there. I had a hard time trying to find it. And when I did, yeah, I missed it. I thought I got it and I missed it. But that's a pretty good shot also. And you can hear it in the background. Yeah, it's too dark. So I just want to show you. See, that's a good picture right there. I like that. Air Force. Look how sharp that is. You can even see the wheels. One more time. Yeah, that's at the edge. But you see, excellent in raw file. JPEG. And the bird bath in the front. Trying different things. See, this is at uh, 525. That's JPEG. That's raw. 6.3. Still sharp. Still clear. And that's it. And I'm going to leave it right there, folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll leave it right there. That's good. So, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, if I get my mouse over here, you can have a, a higher megapixel camera in crop mode. Yes, it's not as fast as a shutter speed, but I didn't see any rolling shutter pictures that I took. And, uh, Now I had it in aperture priority mode, so it was a higher shutter speed. Also the fact that, uh, you know, smaller lens, you can still get the same performance. Yes, less megapixels. Pictures were sharp, okay? And I, I'm not the best photographer, okay? But what I'm trying to say is, which one would you pick up? So there's the older brother, the A7R5 on the left, and the Sony A7CR on the right, with the crop sensor lens 7350G OSS. They're both 4.5 to 6.3. Uh, the Sigma has a longer reach, 60 to 600, but look at the lens, look at the cameras, there's options. So I think that lens is weather sealed. Well, both of them are weather sealed. Okay. A7R5 is good. I don't know about the A7CR, uh, but that's weather sealed. An IP52 or something like that. I have to check that out. But, uh, or check on it. I'm saying. Which one would you rather carry? And uh, you can have both. So one is a B camera and one is the uh, A camera. Uh, with the full frame on a tripod, you can crop in. Whereas uh, on the uh, smaller one, you're already cropped in, but still maybe with less megapixels still get the picture so thank you for watching
Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.